Alright. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's K say, 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 say. No? No. <laughs> Cause I know you expected me to do the same back. I'm not gonna think of you right now. <laughs> hey, hi, Casey, Kim. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so serious FaceTime. You know. <clears throat> so today on Black Girls with an Opinion, we're going to tired. It's okay. It's okay. Grandma syndrome. It's okay. Today, we're going to talk about us females, our skin, and our hair, and should we embrace it, should we not embrace it, what's the talk, how men may view us. As a black female. As a black female, usually we'll talk about like girl themes, but today we focus on our peoples. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Um, obviously you can see that I'm chocola and she's the caramel to my chocola where basically I'm a dark skin chick and you know she's what they like to call a red bone and you don't like that term what you want to light bright you want me to call you that exactly but if <laughs> anyways um we're two different color skins and I've personally never had a problem being a dark skinned girl. I actually like my color. I think it's not too dark, but I'm not light, but it's just like, it's like brown. It's nice. I love it. I, I like my dark skin. And some people really dislike being a dark girl and like wish they were her color. And I don't know why I just I just don't get it and I think well speaking for my colored girls I think we should embrace it more I, th I just never understood why hating a dark skin was such a problem I mean yeah everything may not go with our color exactly but in a sense of like fashion yeah, wise because compared to a white person i swear they can fashion, put anything together clothing, I don't, that's just me um i guess it's a, it depends on how you wear it but i don't think um because you're a dark skin you shouldn't wear no i'm not saying that because oh, okay. i mean for myself i don't like I said, I appreciate my dark skin. And I don't know if there's a certain color that don't go on me. There's a certain colors I see and I'll be like, that may not look good on like me. What, what is like, the color you're like? Neon bright colors. But there's some dark skin that, that really looks good with them. I think overall, like how I look, I may not like how it looks on me. Okay. Not necessarily that's I'm not saying that it doesn't go with dark skin colors. Oh, okay. I think, I think I've seen some dark skin on, girls. Yeah, it depends. They love just putting neon colors and I'm just now, if you're talking I'm about neon from head to toe, every single piece that's that just look clothing. foolish on everybody. Exactly. So <laughs> that looks foolish on everybody, but So when you're you know, it depends. Any I think anybody can wear just about everything. It's just how you wear it. And not too much of it. Because you're gonna look like a plant or a highlighter. Oh, okay, and you remember that um, documentary that they have that was called um, Dark Girls, I think? I don't know if you've seen it. I watched a glimpse, glimpse of it, and it was on the OWN channel. Oh, nice. They had one that had called Dark Girls, and they have one I believe is called Light Girls. I'm not sure, but it was a big old... I'm, a Twitter person. I can tweet all day. I'm mm -hmm. always on Twitter. Even when I'm not tweeting, trust me, I'm favoriting or retweeting something. And when that documentary came out, you had like famous dark skinned girls that came out. They were saying how they had to like try to lighten up their skin or they had to like straighten up their hair to kind of look like how you're supposed to look. What are you supposed to look like? Be, okay, now that you're saying, you know, you're black or whatever, so straighten your hair, what are you supposed to look like? 
I guess a representation of a white person maybe I don't know well cuz majority of white people do have straight hair but there's some white girls that have nice little curly hair but you know they play with it and because they are white it's okay and it, that's you know whatever Is it really okay? and I just feel like when I seen that documentary, there are certain things I didn't agree with, but I don't know if it's because I've never experienced it. Like, mm -hmm. some of the girls, they were like, they were getting bullied because they were dark skin, or some of the, like, they even had guys that were on there to ask, who do they prefer, a light skin girl or a dark skin girl? Most of them said light skin, and I guess some of the girls, their self-esteem goes down, and I feel like... Um, there's some brothers that really love like a dark skinned woman so I don't I don't know I just that documentary made me feel some type of way but it did like shed some light because when you let's use rappers for example mm -hmm. they could before they're on top and all this other stuff their baby mamas or their wives before is always a black woman and then, but once they do, like, their videos, all you see is these foreign chicks, you know, popping their thing and all that other stuff. And it's not your people's that's in the video. Well, well, yeah, I know. You get what I'm saying, I'm right? Saying. So it's just like, oh, <laughs> I'm still broke, <laughs> though. <laughs> so, I mean, I just feel like I never, I, I don't. I just don't I don't get it even like people who created lightning cream mm -hmm. why is that even in existence like because they already know how black people women, feel about themselves yeah, yes you got black men too but I'm sure it's more of course for women they know how we feel about their skin so of course they create things like this put it in our head black beauty supply stores yeah um i re i was watching something where this woman did this experiment while she went to um beauty supply stores in black neighborhoods and beauty supply stores in white neighborhoods there is absolutely no lightning cr cream mm -hmm. there and all your you know regular beauty supply store they had it all soaps creams everything so there you go and another crazy thing this is just for black women in general not like light skin dark skin i just feel like we should embrace our skin color more because there's white people trying to look like us. They have tanning lotion for them to get darker, to get to like at least her skin color. <clears throat> I ain't never seen no white people turn my skin color. That's just, you doing the absolute most if Rachel. that's the case. Rachel. But she wasn't looking like me though. No, but I'm, I'm just saying, saying she did. I'm sure yeah, her skin was they very have, fair. They go get tans. Like Kim Kardashian, she doesn't do anything without getting a spray tan to look darker and now her her daughter is half black and her daughter is yeah, darker than her yeah. so it's like now she's trying to match oh i gotta look like my child you know yeah, get yeah. that darker skin and it's like why are we hating on our own color but yet the people that we're trying to please are trying to look like us more and more every Nowadays, day yep and i think it's so sad like when I hear somebody on Twitter like, oh, I wish I was light skinned or that I sucks. wish I was lighter or I don't like how dark I am. Like, girl, black is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. It's a beautiful color and hell. Even in clothing, it's beautiful. It goes I with love, everything. Like, black is that. like the key color to everything. So, mm -hmm. it's like... I I don't know if they were just raised to not love themselves and we were discussing this earlier that sucks, yeah. when we're growing up I never used to like Barbies like that but when some stupid person did gift me with a Barbie they always got me a white Barbie it wasn't like our first instinct is not always gay oh the let's black. get that black Barbie yeah out. and I think a lot of my dolls were white. I think I had a like, Britney Spears though. Like she's white, like you know. And it's like I think starting from that young age when you just give them 
you know, a white Barbie doll, a white Barbie, or anything that's pertaining to the white culture from that little thing, they're yeah. gonna be like, they're gonna look at themselves and be like, I wanna look like my Barbie. Yeah. Why can't I look like my Barbie? Then they start hating their skin color, and it's like, I feel like we as adults now, if we ever have children early on or whatever the case may be, I'm going to teach my daughter and I'm going to teach my son, embrace your color because I don't know who I'm going to marry later on in life. Maybe biracial, maybe a white person. My preference is black, but I really don't care. Men is men to me. I love them all. It doesn't matter. But if, like, say, if I were to marry a black person... Mm -hmm my kids are going to come out black. Ain't no yeah. way around it unless Jesus is just like, no, I want you to pop out a white oh, child. Well, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen like that. I'm going to teach my daughter, like, you're, I'm going to tell her, you're beautiful. Your skin is gorgeous. And it's like, now, now, people are like really loving the dark skin and embracing it and stuff. And it's like, but there's still those people in that mindset like, oh, I gotta stay out the sun before I get darker. Now, let me get that out of the way. I live in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so we just all get tans by the fall, okay? <laughs> I already live in Miami. If I'm trying to avoid the sun, it's because I'm just not trying to get burned. Like, it really legit be like super hot. Not because I'm trying, I'm not trying to get blacker. It's because it'd be hot as hell outside. So it's not, you know, because of color reference. It's just because it'd be too hot. But, you know, if I lived in another place where it felt good to be out in the sun. Mm, I don't think that's anywhere but that. Well, mm -hmm. no, some somewhere. places. Somewhere. Some places. Not here, though. So Here is like, what you, what you trying to do around 1 o'clock? Because I'm not stepping outside the house. 1 o'clock is too hot. It's too hot. Yeah. But aside from that, <laughs> like she was saying though, when it comes to your children and their skin tone, you should tell them you should help them embrace their own complexion as well as how they treat other people. Because I've seen like some kids, you know, they're like, oh, I don't want to do this and so and so because of their complexion. That's not good. You shouldn't. I don't think you should raise your kids like that at all. And going to black and white, um, I had uh, a friend who was inside of a store, and somebody's white child was like, "Oh, look at the nigger." Little kid, a little kid. It, it all okay? starts from childhood. It so, really does. Yes. Not only, like she was saying, you should embrace your own skin tone, but also teach your child how to respect others and not judge others by their skin complexion being white, black, white skin, dark skin, whatever it is. So, yeah. It just, this just popped in my head because you said about children. There's some women, like, they can go on and on and on for days saying how much they love their black skin color and all this other stuff and they were probably teased about it but they would probably not marry another black man just so their kid don't come out as dark as them and i swear i want their child to come out as black as them because i just feel like you're you're not marrying for the right reasons or you're not having a child for the right reasons because I've heard people say that. Exactly. Oh, I don't want my baby yeah. to be as black as me. What? Actually, in high school, so, this dude said that to me. He was like, oh, so is your boyfriend dark skin? He's like, well, you're going to have black babies. And I was like, uh, see, he was like, see me, I got me a, a light skin. She so and so. He was and, dark skin? You... He was okay skin, okay? <laughs> what, what is okay no, 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 okay. skin? Okay, he's just a brown kid. He's yeah. just a brown boy. He's mm -hmm. not like, you know, you know. That doesn't skin. guarantee their child gonna come yeah, out. Yeah, like. but he was like, oh, you're mar you're not married. You're dating a black guy. You want black babies? He didn't even know he said dark babies. And I was like, 
you know some dark babies they are just so chocolatey and loving and i just want to kiss all my of them my brother was like that when he was little it's just oh my some babies it's like oh but they're so dark i don't yeah. know <laughs> why are so cute my brother was like that was so little. cute and, oh. and that's another thing me personally i was never raised like that because my mother is light skin I, I guess my dad was light skin i don't know what happened now <laughs> i guess it's the miami son but i have dark skin brothers and sisters i have light skin brothers and sisters so i was never taught to think being light skin or being dark skin was better than the other and i'm very happy because i don't know i i just don't i don't look at people like that even sometimes when you have your own friends that's like oh i'm too dark or this and that i'm just really like are you serious right now like you know um of course you know we don't all have the same skin tones meaning we don't experience the same thing every day mm -hmm. so you know it might be something that they're really dealing with versus me i'm just like um you know i i don't get it i don't understand it where i've never experienced that but i don't look at people like that i'm happy i've never looked at people like that so i mean i'm yeah. Granted, I'm not saying I'm a perfect person where I'm like so in love with my skin because I am. But granted, um, I I really do love and enjoy my skin. I think it's very beautiful because you know it's all clear and nice, and I don't even have to do much to it. But you know, I think one of the things that dark skin girls really face with a lot is sometimes when I do take a picture. It's some, it don't be matching my skin and I'm like yo that's not my skin why do I look so dark and I, t I tend to say that why do I look so dark it's not like it's a bad thing it's just like picture ain't matching yeah, me and you know that. there is some people that be like damn that girl black as hell or something like that and there's a lot of people I know black dudes that that love the idea of being with a white woman and I'm like that's not why that, that don't sound healthy at all but okay and i asked one of them before and i was I, I i said to him i was like who do you plan to like marry when you know you become big and stuff like that he's like oh, i'm gonna give me a white girl i'm like why i didn't say it in a way for like what that is why i just i really wanted to know, know why. why and then he was like i don't know y'all too ghetto y'all so offensive y'all this and y'all that and i was like oh yeah i was like and I don't want my kids looking like that too and being all ratchet. I'm like, so you mean to tell me all black women, we just all just ghetto loud. And I'm like, I'm not like that. I literally looked at him. I'm like, I'm not like that. And he was like. What did he say when you told him that you weren't like that? He was like, well, not everybody like that. I said, you just okay. answered your own question. Everybody not like that. So it's like. We have our own men looking oh, down yes, at our yes. skin colors, and it's like you supposed to and be our leader, Twitter. huh? I see a lot of that on Twitter, and it's like you're supposed to be our leader. You're supposed to like love on us and tell us that we're beautiful black queens, and it's like if we don't even have our own men telling us that, because sometimes oh, of course hell. we, we of course we're gonna need that because. You have your girls who just oh she ooh, she this she that. A lot of girls, girls we're just gossipers exactly. and we talk about anybody. So we like I'm not saying it's necessary for our men to do that, but it would be nice because we always have to add our, we always have our black men's back. We always do. Yeah, it's very. But important. when it comes time to like, for us, well, okay, if your black men don't do, who do you look to white men? A white man ain't gonna do, but you know, some white men do some like to dip into they that do. chocolate. And sometimes it depends because it could, like I was saying, it could look like a fetish, which is not healthy. So, yeah, okay, well, if you, your black man's not doing it, who else you got who, left who to really else? do it? You know? And you know, white girls, they just don't understand us, period. So, we're not talking about that today. <laughs> we're talking about they really don't understand us. So, it's like, and like the girls that we were saying before, sometimes girls tear each other down. So, all i got to say is i'm gonna love my chocolate she gonna love her caramel and we just we really advise you women to like look at yourselves and like tell yourself that you're beautiful because yeah tell yourself that in the mirror tell yourself that you're beautiful because you don't need nobody telling you that you're 
beautiful if you know it yourself and stuff like that and you just I'm letting you know girl mm -hmm. your black skin is wonderful these white girls trying to be like you <laughs> okay that's why they're out there getting a tan we don't need to get a what is a tan for us okay just love on your body love on yourself you don't need that okay